Hey guys, welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. We gotta go back to the moon, to the x Naught Fortress, and beat it. But first, I got some cake mix and a volt shroom. Let's cook them up. Cake mix and a volt shroom. I also made a shroom cake off screen. I just figured I'd get it out of the way. And I got a star piece off screen too. I'll show you where it was. But yeah, this is gonna be that electro pop I was talking about, which is not a bad recipe. 15 FP. Plus, it puts the zap tap effect on for a number of turns. I forget how many. So, yeah. Not bad. Better than the Volt Shroom or the Lightning Bolt, which I sold to get that thing. And I also made the Shroom Cake off screen, which was that Super Shroom that I got on the moon. Plus a cake mix. You could also use a regular mushroom or really any low tier mushroom. I think an Ultra Shroom and a cake mix makes a Shroom Creep, Crepe. Crep? However you say that word. But here's where that star piece was. So yeah. Um, the teleporter room is right over here. It's so nuts how you can go straight to the moon from here. It's awesome. Imagine if this door was unlocked from the beginning of the game, since the beginning. There's probably codes that have that. I should know. I've messed around with action replay enough. There may be. But I don't know, I've never really used it. So anyway, let's see if we can do that. We gotta get that cog, yeah, that's right. So we are here on sub-level, is this sub-level one or two? I can't remember. But we haven't explored all the rooms yet. Ah, oh, nuts. x PhD in this annoying thing. Let's get rid of that first. Might as well gulp them up, because we're very close to a level. We are going to get a level from this, I think. Still don't know what that does. Yellow. I would guess confusion, but maybe I'm wrong. That should be enough. Yeah, that definitely is enough. Beautiful. So we're going to go BP. We always got to go BP. Yeah, Chapter 7 really isn't that bad. These guys are nothing. And, well, you would think... Since we're in their base, that we're about to get to some crazy fights, but eh. Um, what do we want to do? Do we want to save this stuff? I don't know, that's the thing. It's always tempting to just not do anything and then wait till you have six PP. Let's just put on Pity Flower for now. And then when we get our next level, we might turn it off. Oh yeah, this room is kind of nuts. Go up here. And there's a star piece way to the left. It's kind of like chapter three, falling through the gratings and stuff. There's more of that. Yeah, I definitely like this moon base. I think this is the one. If I'm not mistaken. I'm mistaken! Crap! It was the one after it. Or before, depending on which way of the room that you're going. For some reason, just thinking of that room again reminded me of Super Star Wars. I don't know why. Sometimes images of stuff remind me of other image things. Nothing over here? No. For some reason, I thought there was something on that left wall. I don't know. But yes, we gotta get that cog, so it should be this vent. This music is nuts in this place. Yeah, it always feels good to use coops again. It feels like we don't use them enough anymore. Could have even got that with Yoshi if we wanted to. Well, before we go back down and use that for the crane that we know is there, let's make sure we do this floor entirely as best as we can. So I think we gotta go to the right side up here now. Oh yeah, look where we are. Yeah! Always gotta jump on that note of the song. This is neat. I think uh, this little Easter egg was in Chapter 3 of the N64 game. Left, right, middle, do not forget. Left, right, middle, got it. Today's code is 1429. 014029, got it. That's important. What's happening to Yoshi? I like that. 
Now, wait a minute here. What am I doing? I guess now that we have that information, we go back and use that cog to activate the crane. Which was sub-level one. Okay, so yeah, we were on two. So, what's been going on? I don't know. Is this still the same day, same moment? I don't know. Nothing really new. Left, right, middle. Oh, that noise again. Make it go away. Crane games. Man, that takes me back. Beach vacations. Or just days on the beach. Okay, hold A to go left. B to go backwards. Gotcha. Yeah, now don't be like cranes in real life where they look like they pick it up and then drop it immediately. Those crooked machines, man. But I love that, going to the arcades, on the boardwalks, wherever. New Jersey, I guess, is where I went most. Feeling fine? Dizziness and poison, that's gonna come in handy very soon. If not this chapter, definitely what we do next. And the rest of the pit. I'll go for the star piece. These are actually the easier cranes. The ones, like, there's ones in real life where you press two buttons like this. A left or a right, and then a backwards. As opposed to the joystick where you have full movement. I remember I got pretty decent at those ones. But yeah, they're a ripoff. But for some reason, when you're a kid, these things are amazing. It's like those machines that have all those quarters in them, you know, and you just hope that the thing pushes them off the edge. But it never does. Feeling fine for the partner, too. These things are like 4 BP or something to put on, though. That's the problem. It would be awesome to have both of them equipped, but that's 8. Which is 3 levels of unused badge points. That's a bunch. Guy doesn't know how to dance like we do. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. All right. I think I got the butt. Yes, indeed. That super stream would be nice to have. No, I'm, I'm out of room. That not just now. You guys ever played Day of the Tentacle? I would assume more people these days have because it was remastered for the PlayStation 4 and other things as well. All right, so 1429, but don't forget the zeros. Why? Okay. Access code accepted. What's in here? But yeah, Bernard Bernoulli, he goes, no. Nah. At one point in Day of the Tentacle, that's what it reminded me of. Who are you, huh? You came here to get the elevator key so you can get access to the computer room? Yeah, I thought so. Well, you're gonna have to beat me to get it. Yeah, challenge this chump. And we got another quiz. Wait, this hasn't happened since the very beginning. In Schwank Fortress. The 66th annual court quiz. That's a lot of weird syllables. Five right, three wrong, and you're screwed. We got the elevator key here. I'm absolutely sure. Crud. We were so close to Venom. Question two. What's the name of the girl in Petalburg who's waiting patiently for Coop's return? That would be Coopy Coo. Flavio was in there. I hope nobody's waiting on Flavio, but then again, he's gotta be happy too, I guess. Goomba, Lava, Lava, Buzzy Beetle. How many feet? Uh, two, zero, four, zero, so six. That Buzzy Beetle is easy to forget that they have four legs. Don't end. Question four. It's elementary for non-idiots. Where was the one, the only diamond star? I think they're referring to Hooktails. Because that was a diamond, yeah. The white, shiny, silvery, whatever. Question five. What was the name of the very first champion? Prince Mush. I'm surprised Rawhawk wasn't there. That would have been an easy way to throw around the player. Oh, that's it! I didn't even realize that was the end. 
I'm so mad right now, I can hardly see straight. I lose, I lose! Fine, but I really hate you. Take this, you bum. <laughs> nice. Sweet, we can go in the other elevator. Nothing else in here, I suppose. I wonder what happens if you get that wrong. Do you fight anti-guys like the N64 game? Is this the right elevator? Wait a minute. Where is the other elevator? Maybe it's on the other floor. I know there was one with a red panel. Panel? It came out all stupid. There it is. Okay. Day of the Tentacle. That's a game I used to play annually. I haven't played it in this year yet. Uh, three or four. I forget which one. Four? I think is Peach and the Computer. So three would have the things to do on it, I believe. Wow, the floor's different. Get out of the way. Bob. Look at all these items. Wow. Okay. Well, the guy in the back is the big problem, but all these items here, hmm. That butt combo works every time. Now, if we gulp this dude, there goes the fire flower, and then I guess we're gonna eat this rune powder, is that what it is? Or is it spike pouch? Oh no, confused, that could be a problem. That's not good. Sorry, Yosh. We got through all right. Confusion is terrible. In every game. There was one game where confusion was tolerable. I don't remember what it is, though. Oh no, this one's crazy. Okay, it's like a snaking path. You just gotta be very careful when it tries to... Well, I don't know if I'm gonna use that, but yeah, it tries to... change things up on you and... Right at the end, too. This is the kind of room a levitate code would be amazing in. You can see, now we're going backwards unnecessarily, but... It's all to throw your patience... ...out of whack. Now, Day of the Tentacle is a great game, though, and Sam and Max hit the road. It's not as good as Day of the Tentacle, but it's still very good. And that's one I haven't really covered. Here we go, the change-up. What? I did it right? I must have been on the corner. Oh, I gotta sit through all that again. See, now I'm gonna be quick on this stupid thing and probably mess up more. Before we get into any more trouble, as Joanna Dark says. And then in that one mission, Cassandra DeVries chimes in. Yeah, because she wakes up unconscious. And she's all like, I better not be where I think I am. And then Cassandra DeVries is like, and it's worse than that, my dear. Just look who you've got for company. You? We thought you'd managed to escape. We found no trace of you at all. You couldn't find me, but there was no hiding from the Skedar. Yeah, I know Perfect Dark like the back of my hand! That's a card key. Actually, those three games, Perfect Dark, Day of the Tentacle, and Star Fox 64. I will quote them till the day I die. How many videos have I said that in now? Oh, I tried to dance around, but this guy had his dancing shoes on. Uh, nuts! Normal jump, spin jump, multi-bounce. Now the issue here... Can't select that, can't do that. Not! Well then you're gonna get a stampede to the forehead. Oh man, I almost lost it there. Yeah, the Yoshi hop. Please tell me this works. Oh yeah.
Yeah, these guys got nothing. A oh, super shroom, I want it. Well, yeah, the HP drain, it sounds good in theory. It probably is good, but I don't want it. I said I don't want you. What is happening in here, Tarnation? What in Tarnation? Stop it. Oh, now it's right in front of the door. Open the door. Wait a second. I only have two. What did I miss? What floor now did I not explore in full? Uh, sub level four, that's right. This is Peach's quarters. Maybe the bathtub has it. Oh wow, the music changed and everything. Really can't open the lockers? There's gotta be something in here. Can we use the bed? No. Well, what good are you? There's a guy in here. Uh, the toilet must have something. No? All right. Let's go, buddy. Oh, he stopped just right. There we go. I got it. I saw the spin. You're going to get a butt to the forehead. Beautiful. What's in the bathtub is what I want to know. Nothing? Hmm. Tex room. If it's not there, I don't remember. The baseline is kind of nuts. What the heck? It's locked. Uh, I don't remember what floor. Is it the one with all the rooms? Finally! Okay. I just wasted about six minutes roaming this place looking for... I thought I fully explored this floor. Whatever. This is a new enemy. Yeah, this is the floor with all the rooms in it. I thought we went all the way to the right. I guess... I don't know. x -yux. That's an x -yux. I hear this is red cross yux, not x -yux. Oh. They were designed to be unbeatable. They're not. HP is 10, attack 3, defense 1. It can produce too many yuxes. Yuck! Alright, well now that we got that out of the way, let's just... Nuts! Nuts! Nuts times 2. Oh, we gotta tattle those clowns. That's so dumb. They probably appear in the trash can, too. That's the other thing. Trash can strategies of this game. All right. Multi-something I saw. So sure, multi-bounce. Still got those Zest Dynamites, but we gotta save those for the Pit of 100 Trials big time. Oh, nuts. How do we want to do this? The only way that makes sense, multi-bounce and then hope that Kumbella can actually damage the dude. I don't remember what she said his defense was. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I can see how a bunch of those would be annoying. Well, we're here in Grotus's place and no sign of Grotus. Ah, oh, yes, the cool carpet room. And there it is, finally, okay. Can't get the cool jingle or look at a floppy disk anymore. Hmm. I have to wonder if there's a star piece here. Maybe like right on the logo, but I don't want to check. Because I know you can't come back here. So, oh, nuts. I'm just wondering if they would actually put something easily missable like that, where if you don't get it, you just can't ever get it. Uh, this is actually a... This could be something. Oh, not the fog! 
I don't want to waste an item when it could miss. Like, stopwatch... I don't know. FP is getting kind of low, though, that's the thing. Could use a Koopa bun, but... The Electro Pop, too. I'd probably use that first, actually. Alright, let's see if that does anything. It's like the best move to maybe hit somebody. Wow, it does nothing! Their defense is too high. What's happening? Oh, no, it's... Okay. Did he take an FP or did I gain one? What just happened? Oh, I gained one. That's that pity flower. Uh, okay. I don't know what to do. That showstopper is not going to work. Press that as they appear. I'm not even going to risk it. What? Oh, okay. Heart attack. Like, I don't even know if the fog affects these things. Could sweet treat maybe? Earth tremor, I don't I don't know. I just want the mist to go away and then I would know what I want to do. Quake hammer? Why not? Okay, there's one big dude. Survived! And that did nothing. Yoshi. We have no FP. We'll try gulp and hope that it works. At least on the guy. The first guy. No, it missed. Wow! Okay, that's good that he missed Yoshi. Alright. Could live with that. Now. Let's use this Electro Pop. On Mario. Get that FP back. And a little bit of a zap tap if these guys want to jump. Well, for four turns, too. That's actually really not bad. Better than the lucky start when it kicks in. Alright, so now. Hmm. HP is a problem. Multi bounce. What? Oh, okay. I'm not even paying attention to that stuff. It's hard to see when you're looking at a menu. Okay, that's good. So we just got this guy. We can do it. What? What? No! What garbage! Everything fell by half! Even star power! Dear lord! I don't even know what to do now! Uh... This mushroom that was randomly thrown. Well, this could be remedied, but the star power can't. I, I don't know. Just give this to Mario, I guess. This mushroom. We're kind of almost done with this, too. I don't know how I'm going to build up that star power. Those stupid poison mushrooms, man. What a terrible mechanic. I mean, the other stuff is good. I might go way back to the beginning and hit the block. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, I think. Okay, we're back here. Let's put in the three cards. Now that we have three, I hit the block at the entrance. But the star power is still halved from that terrible roulette. roulette. Oh yeah, this room's crazy. You gotta go all nuts with your partners. Alright. Coops is gonna come in handy here, I think. Oh, what? What? Man, I'm having bad luck all of a sudden. Jeez. Burned. Alright. Coops, let's show them what we do. Yeah, oh man, see that's why Koops is awesome. Okay, we've got four star points. Okay, so this is a bobbery thing. 
throw him over the ledge. I remember getting hung up on that puzzle. One of the times I replayed this game, I just completely forgot what you had to do. I know this is a Vivian thing. It's like I remember remembering the Vivian part, but I didn't know how to get the conveyor going. Anything back here? A pipe. That's like a failure pipe, I think. Oh, let's go! Ah, platform cycles. The bane of everybody. I have a feeling we're gonna need Yoshi. Let's get him out. This is a neat room, though. It's, I think, this game's biggest puzzle room. Unless the final area of the game has stuff I'm not remembering right now. Look at that Ultra Shroom. We could grab it. We already have, I think we have two in storage at the shop. We have a Jelly Ultra we made long ago. And we've used an Ultra Shroom for something. We converted one into a Jam and Jelly. There we go. And I thought we used one for something else, too. I don't remember what. I'm just playing it super safe, just in case. Sometimes when Mario's in the background here, it's hard to tell how he's gonna jump. See, that right there looks like a wall, but I know you can jump over and go in that pipe. But first, we want to go all the way think. Unless we do want to go on the pipe first. I can't remember. Oh, these things are not synchronized. Okay. I don't know. Let's see. This, this is a perfect example of what I'm saying. I don't know if Mario can make that jump the way it was just now. Yeah, see, that would definitely have missed. Waiting. Oh, nuts. Wait, can I get back up here? No, surely I can get back up there. I think I just missed my chance on the other platform, too. I'm playing like garbage! Yeah, look at this. Look at it! Just, okay, it worked. Whatever. Maybe it's not as bad as I'm thinking in my head. We did it! I hope that this is what we have to do first. Yeah, this is it. This leads to the card key. If you go the whole distance. See, you might be tempted to press B right there, but not yet. You gotta get this first. Okay. Oh, yeah. I don't think there's anything else down here. There might be something to the right there, but I think that's just a failure pit. No, there was another pipe. Whatever, let's just go. I think there might be another pipe that would have been better instead of going all the way back to this left side of stuff. Oh, it's a hot day. It's like over 80 degrees. It was raining earlier. So the humidity is really bad too. But yeah, let's just go over here. I like turn the air conditioning on and then I decide to turn it off. And then I forget that it's off and then it starts to get super hot again. It's a constant struggle, because I don't want to leave it running the whole time if it's not necessary. But there we go, that's it! That is the moon base! This is a very long video. Okay, wait, where are we? I need some HP. You know, maybe we'll be fine. I didn't use any of the space food, and what I've been wondering, I think I, I'll be fine. I'm just four hit points away. Sucks about the star power, though. But yeah, I wonder if the space food still heals 50 HP in here. <laughs> Not this guy again. I've been waiting for you. Oh man, have I been waiting, and I hate waiting. You again? You've been waiting, huh? Well, what's that supposed to mean? I'll tell you what it means. I used the crystal star to lure you here so that I could take all of your crystal stars. How brilliant is that, huh? And want to know the best part? Your little peachy girl isn't even here anymore. So Peach totally was here. 
Why did you take her, you huge weasel? <laughs> weasel? <laughs> like I tell you the plan. That's novice villain style. No, I won't be doing anything like that. Sorry, really, guys. So ready for showtime? You guys are gonna be the perfect workout for Magnus Von Grapple 2.0. Hey. All right, bub. I hope you're up to the challenge because this thing is raw horsepower, kitties. All right, let's do it. The chapter boss. Buh. Yeah, last version was buggy, so we made improvements. One, two, a dozen. Get ready for a whole new way to experience pain, you junior varsity losers. Yeah, whatever. Whoop you for the tenth time. Yeah, really. We'll get the tattle, though, even though this guy has to appear in the dump can. Whatever it is. Magnus Von Grapple 2.0. 70 HP. That's pretty big. Attack is 6. Defense 2. Basic is a drill from above. That's easy to block. Flying punches. Oh, jeez. So yeah, you just gotta be wary of what he does. The whole design is still a little ridiculous. Yes, indeed it is. Alright, well we got some star power back for that stylish tattle. Uh, hmm. I guess power bounce. That was kind of a weak start. Starting at three? Yeah, I don't know about all that. Here it comes, suckers. Magnus drill attack. All right. I'm ready. Yeah. This rally wink, why not? It's Goombella's best thing, really. Just because Mario, this, I guess this setup, if that's what it is that I'm using. Mario's the big powerhouse. Charge up and power bounce. Yeah. Whoa, time to unleash some of the sweet special features on this bad boy. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. Oh yeah, okay, this is where we gotta watch out. What do we wanna do? No. These are easily makeable. We have a bunch of them. Let's use the Zest Dynamite. And I have that refund badge equipped. Oh yeah, did you see Zesty appear? That was awesome. And I got some coins, I don't know how much exactly. But yeah, I don't wanna use too many of those things. All right, he's down to 28. You guys should be in little puddles of nothing by now. Yeah, you better say crud. Oh jeez, what are you doing? Hey! That actually didn't do too much of anything. Buh, eat this! Uh-oh. Wait, this is a crazy attack? Jeez! When I get one of those, there goes that life shroom. Gonna have to buy another one of those too. That's all right though. That was a nuts attack. Uh, space food. I'm very curious if that does 50 HP in, in this place or if it's only five because we're technically not on the moon. We're indoors on the moon. I don't know. But then again, we could just sell all the space food. Maybe it's worth a bunch. So instead... I like this idea better. Spicy pasta. This is why we cook this stuff. 10 HP, 10 FP, and... Ah, oh, it's only plus one? Yeah, it's better than nothing. Better. What are you doing? Okay. What do we want to do? Star power of some kind? Art attack. Yeah, this will this will do it. Although I don't know how we got to draw it. All I care about is getting rid of those hands mostly.
Hopefully that counts as all three. No, it's just the hands. Well, whatever. Let's just get them out of the way. Nuts. Okay, they're done. Get you. Oh, that's garbage. And that did nothing. Wow, what a waste. I could have multi-bounced and probably been better than that. Well, that's not what I wanted to happen at all, but he's almost dead anyway. I wonder if I rally winked now if Mario got to go again. Or if it's too late after he moves. I don't know. What is that? Hang in there, Goombella. Well, I think we got this if we just rally wink and then don't screw up. Yeah, that showstopper star power, it says it would defeat him in one blow if it works, and it costs only two, so that leads me to believe that it barely ever works. Especially on a boss. There we go. Blarg. Yeah, he doesn't even give you a lot of star points. Lotus. We finally got him. I don't think we see him anymore after this. Yeah, there he goes, off into space. Poor Goombella, look at her. Mario! This one looks like a diamond. You got the Crystal Star! Now we have eight and can use Supernova. Yeah, that one is crazy. Definitely wanted this before going further in the Pit of 100 Trials. Which is now our next objective before we go beat the game. The last crystal star had been hidden in the x not hideout on the moon. But by the time Mario recovered it, Peach had already been taken away. Where could Peach be now? And what of the elusive Grotus? Perhaps he holds the key to the remaining puzzle. Mario finally has all seven crystal stars. Where will they lead him next? That's it, right? There's a little bit of something else here. There's no Peach, obviously. Is there a Bowser? It's gonna be a very long video. There is a Bowser! Well, we're here! Now where's the stupid Poshly Sanctum? A crystal star's there, right? So they say your putridness, and lo and behold, there it is now, right behind you. Great! About time something worked out for old Bowser! In we go! Yeah, let's just get this out of the way real quick. I see Gold Bob right there. It's locked. It won't budge. Darn it! <laughs> I like his toe stomp. The lock broke. Whoa, baby, awesome. It opened. Talk about lucky. I guess rage really pays. Yeah, this is a pretty short thing. So, I guess it's not. This is it, Haggy. This is finally it. <laughs> Happy face. At last, I've gotten my mitts on a crystal star. Yes! Impressive work, Lord Bowser. You're the absolute best star-getting guy. You there. I have you now, villains. You are common thieves, aren't you? Aren't you? My eyes never deceive. What are you implying? I'm no little thief. I'm... A remorseless king of evil, the shadow thief, or Koopa Coot. Uh, I mean, Koopa Coot's funny. I'm the great Koopa Coot. I'm taking this. Mess with me and I'll bore you to death. I see. Unfortunately for you, that's a red herring. It's a fake. If you want it, it's yours. A fake? But look at this fancy display. The pedestal and everything. It's so posh. If it's a fake, then where's the real one? If you must know, I gave the real one to Luigi. Oh, ho, ho. You have got to be kidding me. You mean to tell me that Luigi beat me here? Those Mario Bros are the most annoying brothers of all time. 
No bothersome the fact that we keep being outmaneuvered is disturbing. But where in the world could Mario and his brother be heading? Where? Lord Bowser! <laughs> it perches right on his head. Paragoombo, why are you so worked up over? Tell me! Now reporting, sir, uh, and ma'am, sir, ma'am. Mario has collected the seven crystal stars and is headed for the Thousand Year Door. The what? The Thousand Year Door? What in the heck is that? The Thousand Year Door, an unbelievably legendary treasure is behind that door. Arr, then I'm going there too, immediately, and I'm gonna ruin Mario. Will you now, Luigi? Well done, lad. Way not to fail yet. What? Way to not fail yet. Well, anyway, that was a quick Bowser thing. But yeah, there's still something more on this moon. I apologize that this video is going to be 900 years long. Some of you said you wanted a long video. They kind of have been long, though. We finally got all seven crystal stars. Now we can open the door. But we still don't know where Peach is. Well, there's only the door. All right, back to Frankly. And his trash can. Let's get Yoshi, but we're not done here. We gotta go check in with Tech. This door was locked and I believe it's open now. Is this the right elevator? If it isn't, well, by gosh. Yeah, it's up level four. Quick, what's your favorite Star Fox 64 planet? I like Area 6. And Zonus. Where the heck are we? Wait, that was Yoshi. Why did I do that voice? Boom. You are Mario, are you not? It is pleasant to meet you. I am the main computer of this fortress. I am Tech. I must tell you something. That is why I brought you to this place. Princess Peach. I'm sorry. Most of my data was erased and my main power unit was shut down. Now running on backup power with only... How do you say that word? Cache or cached memory? Mario, you know that Peach is not here, do you not? Please save Peach, please. Yeah, we know. Grotus in the shadow... Palace of Shadow. I had to tell you that. Watch, backup power failing. Use the teleporter room to get back to Rogueport. Teleporter room is on sub-level two. Thank you for that. The princess is in the Palace of Shadow. Please hurry, there is barely enough power left to activate the teleporter. I will cease all AI functions to send power to the teleporter for you. But what'll happen to you? When the power is all gone, I will cease to exist as an artificial consciousness. But if it will save Peach, I would gladly do this, because until I met Peach, I knew nothing of love. Do not worry about me, I'm just a computer, just a machine. You must save Peach, and tell her. Whoa, he still remembers. Thank you for me. Every Nintendo game ends in thank you. We got it, Tech. Hurry to the teleporter room, save her. Tech system failure reported. Gonzalez, that tears it, man. We just gotta save Peach for tech, too. Yes. Music is gone and this reddish. Nothing down here. All right. Well, we're saying goodbye. Hopefully, I didn't miss anything too crucial. Oh, the music's back. There's enough power for the radio, apparently. Sub level two, he said. Speaking of the radio, the grocery stores these days play some awesome songs. I don't know, in the 90s music has started entering the loop. That's not the right door. I know it's not the right door. It's this one. Yeah, so, I don't know. It's good stuff. But goodbye, Moon and x Not Base. We can never be back again. As far as I'm aware. Peach, goodbye.
Crazy explosion. That's also the same animation when Zesty cooks something amazing. Whoa! You hear something just then? Well, if we try to use it, it doesn't react whatsoever. Apparently, it doesn't work. So, yep, that's that. And I believe something happens out here. If it isn't Mario! Over here, son! You brought the crystal star back from the moon with you, didn't you? What? Talking to my good ear. The x not Fortress is on the moon? Oh, yes. So Princess Peach was there, too, I assume. Sure was, but the x not boss took her and took off for that thousand-year door. Aha! Just a bit ago, I smelled some rank air and went to the thousand-year door. I saw a suspicious fellow in a cape go through the door with Princess Peach! What? You said that door wouldn't open without the seventh crystal star! Believe me, I know, but I'm quite certain of it. I saw it with my own eyes. I have a very bad feeling about this. Very bad. Princess Peach is in danger. Time is short. We must go to the Thousand Year Door and rescue the princess. I'll run ahead and meet you there. Don't dawdle. You must come immediately. We gotta go to the pit. Anyway, this video is a million years long. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Oh. Bye.